Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I appreciate you. Don't forget I got that special still going on for you guys. Two free questions for the month of July. You have to be a subscriber and you have to comment. You, my number is in my description box. You can text me or you can email me at tugins, H-U-G-I-N-S, 1031 at gmail.com. Okay, just showing my appreciation to you guys. So we're here doing a video for Sagittarius. This is for the second part of July. Um, this is a general reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I've already prayed over the cards. I've saged. I'm still shuffling. And I'm about to lay them down. Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you. What's going on with Sagittarius, guys? For the second part of July. The second part of July. Hmm. Some of you guys are happily single here. Looking all good, smelling good, abundance. What do we got here? The first card out is the hangman. So, you've been enlightened about something. You're getting a different perspective on things here. We have the Eight of Swords. You're feeling, you're feeling restricted, but you're really not, Sagittarius. You, all you gotta do is open up your eyes, pull it, it, whatever is in your eyes, take it away and you will see things for what they really are. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So this could be regarding your work. Someone likes what you, what you do. Um, this is somebody wanting to collaborate collaborate with you. Or this is somebody wanting to come together in a partnership. You know, love partnership. Job. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, this is abundance. This is support. This is financial security. This is... Um, Everything is okay in your family situation. Your money is going to be looking really good, Sagittarius. What else we got for Sagittarius, guys? So many. So many, so many. A lot of you guys are doing a lot of healing here. Okay, we have the lovers here. This could be, you, you could be in a commitment. Some of you guys could be in a commitment. Like I said, while I was pre-shuffling, I saw some of you guys were happily single. But this lover's card could be dealing with a Gemini. This is a decision that needs to be made here. Possibly between two people, okay? Then we have the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys got new love coming in. This could be a reconciliation that wants to happen. You guys could be getting a new home. But someone has a lot of love for you, Sagittarius. Someone has a lot of love for you. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Cups. This is a departure. Someone has walked away from something because they've gotten some clarity They've gotten a different perspective. They've been enlightened about a situation here. So let's go and get some clarification on these cards. Um, hangman again pops out. Why is the hangman here for Sagittarius guides? Thank you so much for bringing nothing but clarity, understanding, peace, love to these cards and to Sagittarius. We got the Four of Cups clarifying the hangman. So, somebody's not happy here. 
somebody is bored in a situation. Somebody is like not emotionally fulfilled. That's why somebody's getting a different perspective on the situation. Universe is wanting to offer you something, but you're you're y'all don't know if you want it. You don't know if you want it. You're not sure if you want it or not. Why is the four of cups here? Four Sagittarius. Why is the four of cups here? We have the Knight of Swords. So we got a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius rushing in, wanting to communicate here. Could want to start some drama. Upset that you're not accepting what they're, what they're offering you. Yeah, they want to communicate. Why is the Eight of Swords here? And you're like, you feel, you're feeling kind of stuck, you know, in your mentals. But you're not. You're going to get a message here from somebody, possibly a Leo, Sag, or Aries like yourself. Um... It's going to be a nice, this is got some good news coming in, but it's going to have you stuck, feeling, you know, like you don't know what to do. Why is the page of wands here? The knight of wands. Okay. Yeah. This is a person, Leo Sagittarius, that's in and out. This could be your energy, Sagittarius, or the person that you're dealing with. This person is in and out. Don't know what they want. Only got one thing, passion on their mind. That's all they got on their mind right now. And it's going to have you stuck. This person has possibly got you in a third-party situation. and But you know, you've been enlightened about it. Ace of Cups again. They love you. They're going to tell you they love you. They want to get back with you, Sagittarius. But they got, they, they in a third party. They still got somebody else. Why is the Ace of Cups here? For the second time. Yeah, what did I just say? Seven of Swords. This person is very sneaky, shady. Liar, cheater, yeah. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. This, poss this person could possibly have a whole family situation going on. And you don't even know about it. But you know about something. We got the Knight of Cups here. This person is coming in. They want they want to build with you. This is what they're saying. They want to build with you. And they want to offer you their love because they're in love with you. This person is got another person here. Sagittarius. I don't want to keep saying that, but that's what it is. Yeah, this is. I just want one. Let's clarify this king, this knight of cups. What's this knight of cups about? This person just wants some sex. The ten of wands. When this person come in, this is clarifying the knight of cups. This is going to be a burden to you. Why is the lovers here? This is a decision that this person has to make between two. The page of cups. So maybe you got to make a decision between two people, Sagittarius. I don't know. The page of cups. This is an apology coming in towards you. Yeah. And, of course, they want to offer that love to you. But there's some sneaky, shady stuff going on here. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. This person... Is collaborating with more than just you, Sagittarius. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is being clarified by the Eight of Cups. You already got the Eight of Cups on the table here. You're walking away from this situation, okay? From this love. You love this person too, possibly. Um, the Ten of Cups. This is you emotionally fulfill this person or they emotionally fulfill you. This is happiness. This is... Happy life, wife, you know, everybody's happy in the, in the household. Why is the Eight of Cups here? For the second time, you're walking away definitely from something you've been investing in with the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is definitely someone in your past that's coming back towards you, Sagittarius, the Six of Cups. Um, This is could be a soulmate. They definitely want a second chance with you. But, you you know, you have your own will. You do what you want to do. You know, you're, being, you're going to be strong in this situation. You're going to be very courageous. You're going to hold your feelings back. Because you already know that this person is very sneaky. This person is not real. They only got one thing on their mind. Even though there's two, like, aces of cups. It's like two. It's, it's love here. But this person don't want just you. They want other things too, okay? Let's get some advice for you, Sagittarius. Universe, what advice do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh. 
What advice? Ooh. <laughs> Can I shuffle already? Oh my God. One card that came that came out, but it came out with a bunch of cards from the Romance Angels. It's like, um, let your friends help you. So just talk to your friends about it. Or whoever you need to talk to somebody about it, because you're probably in love with this person, but you know this person is not right, you know. They they're not real. What advice do we got for Sagittarius universe? Um heart-to-heart -heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with with each other so maybe you need you want to talk to this person you know um to see what what's really on the, on your mind we have true love here this is the romance of a lifetime but it came out in the reverse it was in the reverse get one more piece of advice and then we have engagement here your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment um i don't know sagittarius maybe you're gonna decide to give this person another chance Some of you guys, like I said, got new love coming in, and it is going to go, you know, to a higher level of commitments. But at the bottom of the deck, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, universe is wanting the person, the one of the, you guys that are in a relationship that where well, you know this person is shady sneaky you need to wait because there's something else coming in better for you okay all right guys if this resonates with you guys please like share and subscribe love you guys bye bye